the South Pacific, part of the nation's overseas territory. The French government has said the islands are exposed to international tensions. On Wednesday, Macron said France's position on Taiwan had not changed and that he favored the current status quo over Taiwan. That stance firmly opposes Beijing's ambitions. Certain European leaders are taking issue with French... I think that is blatant display of how vulnerable people who use TikTok are. You couldn't take action after 41 days when a clear threat, a very violent threat to the chairwoman of this committee and the members of this committee was posted on your platform. You damn well know that you cannot protect the data and security of this committee or the 150 million users of your app because it is an extension of the CCP. And with that, I yield back. So and this is an app that has over 150 million Americans on it. So she says it's unprecedented. Well, yes, it is. We never have had a CCP-run app occupying the minds and time of 150 million people. Betting it might be a first, but for a good reason. And then the inconvenient truth comes out. ByteDance donated $150,000 to both the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation and Congressional Hispanic Caucus Foundation in December. Its lobbying contribution report shows AOC sits on the advisory council of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus Institute. So of course she doesn't want it banned. You have to follow the money. Now, one right-leaning group did get some TikTok money as well, so they aren't blameless, but the amount was significantly less. Just goes to show you that lobbying pays off. New World Order is the dream of globalists to have a one world. By brains. The Clinton administration said, oh, don't worry about it. This will be a poison pill for China. China's strategic goal is to make sure that the U.S. has four enemies, and one of them must be a terrorist group. We are giving of our life's blood so that the Chinese Communist Party can survive and thrive. Related to Rob Walker. In the memo, Comer questions why Haley Biden, who's publicly reported to work as a school counselor, received money from Robinson Walker. The White House has repeatedly denied that President Biden has knowledge of these family business dealings. We reached out to the White House but did not receive a response by airtime. Now, let's look into what exactly Hunter Biden is being accused of. Back before the 2020 presidential election, Hunter Biden's business dealings caught the public's attention. The New York Post first reported on Hunter Biden's overseas activities in China and Ukraine. One of his former associates, Tony Bobolinsky, came forward about an alleged business venture between him, Hunter Biden, the president's brother, Jim Biden, and CEFC China Energy. The Chinese conglomerate has deep ties to the Chinese Communist Party. Bobolinsky strongly suggested that the firm engaged Hunter to gain access to his father, Joe Biden, then vice president. A Senate report from 2020 shows that Hunter Biden is the co-owner of a company named Hudson West 3. According to the report, CEFC China Energy wired $5 million to Hudson West in 2017. Not long after, Hudson West sent multiple payments to Hunter Biden's law firm Owasco. Labeled as consulting fees, the payments totaled about $4.8 million. Around the same time, Hudson West moved over $1 million to Hunter's uncle, James Biden's consulting firm. The Senate report identifies the transaction as potential financial criminal activity. And in September 2017, Chinese businessman Dong Guangwen opened a bank account together with Hunter Biden. Hunter, James, and Sarah Biden were all authorized users of credit cards associated with the account. They later used the cards to purchase over $100,000 worth of luxury items. The Chinese businessman is also a co-owner of Hudson West, and at the same time, an associate of the chairman of CEFC China Energy. 
A previous media report shows that in 2017, Hunter Biden helped negotiate a deal for CEFC to invest $40 million in a Louisiana-based natural gas project. The project reportedly fell through the following year. According to the Senate report, Hunter Biden had also agreed to represent another associate of the CEFC chairman's, Patrick Ho, in his corruption trial. Ho was sentenced to three years in a New York federal court for bribing top African officials to help CEFC get local oil businesses. U.S. prosecutors had also accused him of trying to sell weapons to Middle East countries and of helping Iran obtain funds from Chinese banks. According to a New York Times report, when American authorities arrested Patrick Ho, the first phone call he made was to James Biden. And now, a background check on CEFC China Energy. It had been one of China's largest conglomerates before its bankruptcy in 2020, under a Beijing clampdown on domestic companies. The giant did global business in oil and offered financial services, and made the Fortune Global 500 list at the time. Its chairman, Ye Jiangming, was once touted as the Chinese Rockefeller. CEFC China Energy was private in name but hired numerous high-ranking former officials from the Chinese military and Hong Kong as executives. CEFC Chairman Yi fell out of favor with Chinese authorities in 2018. He was charged with embezzlement, and the company shut down two years later. He since disappeared from the public eye. If you have any news tips or feedback for the show, don't hesitate to email us at news.today at ntv.com. And just ahead, Ukrainian volunteers treat patients in a makeshift ambulance made from a converted bus. They're part of a wider network of evacuation teams in Ukraine. And Russians who fled to the nearby country of Georgia are...